the weekend after I posted my video complaining about sellers on whatnot, I had a busy weekend on whatnot. So we'll keep it brief. I found some deals. I found some steals. Uh, you can still find deals and steals on the app. So I did, and here they are. I will speed up the camera so we can open up these boxes real quick all at once, and then we'll just go over the books. These types of packing jobs always remind me of The Evil Dead, the remake that came out from a couple years ago where the book was bound in plastic and barbed wire. Just so you know, I am actively trying not to see what I'm pulling out so that we can enjoy it together. Lord, there's a lot of packaging. Okay, here we go. No order except in the order of what I bought them in, in the packages I opened them in. Bear with me. What is this? Ah, yes. Uh, this is a um, Vampirella Unholy Virgin variant. I like the painted style. Um, I actually really dig that quite a bit. If you've seen my other Vampirella collection, you'll have seen tons of different variations of of how she's presented on the covers and very rarely do they do mural style paintings i'm gonna put my knife away safety first i'm gonna be the first comic book youtuber to stab his eye out on camera next uh this is another vampirella virgin variant you're gonna see a lot of Vampirella Virgin variants. This one in particular is one of the photo covers. This is one of the actresses, the models they have. Just beautiful, yeah, just stunning. I love the, the, the photograph they did with the, the, the sheets. Um, the kind of get out of my mind position they have her in. I really dig this. I'm not crazy about all the actress covers, but every Vampirella is a little bit because it goes back to the Warren issues. Again, go check out my entire Vampirella collection. There's so many actresses they used back in the um, 60s and 70s. Eh, 70s. Back in the 70s for um, photo reference as well as actual photos for the covers. Here we go. Uh, I can't remember all of the individual names of the artists, but this is, this is just a fantastic cover. I love it when they juxtapose this beautiful woman next to disgusting monsters. I, I really like that. That's that's one of the things I, I love most about Vampirella. Okay. We have a Dynamite, D-I-E, Namite, Peach Momoko. You can see her work from a mile away. Uh, I wish it was a virgin variant. I prefer Vampirella books without the trade dress, but I ugh, just the art's just so good. Peach Momoko's colors are always just fantastic she's always on another level and again if you look closely this has monster faces hidden throughout not necessarily hidden but they're there just they don't jump out at you right away so again putting her next to those monsters uh <laughs> this one this is vampirella and the superpowers number one um or versus the superpowers that's the new one that just came out um this <laughs> Vampirella, tentacle monsters, can't go wrong. That's literally what I told the solar, seller when I, I, I bought it. It's, you, you don't get Vampirella and tentacles too often, but when those, the Venn diagram of creep of Vampirella correct collectors and um, tentacle monster aficionados, men of culture, intersect, you, you get something like this. This is actually all bound up. We're going to need some more opening. Uh, this I got from, I, I, I even know the seller because I bought a lot from them, uh, Searchlight Comics. When Searchlight Comics does lots, I love them. When they do singles, they bore me. And this was one of their lots I, I found was a, a really good deal. 
This is DC Superpowers. Uh, this was, I believe this was based on the toy line of the Superpowers toys that came out where each figure had some specific thing like the Penguin has his umbrella action. The Riddler is stupid and nobody likes him. Uh, here, I'm just putting it in order so you can see what it looks like. And I also love the opening cover of just this big, gross image of Darkseid. He's usually so stoic, and this almost manic image of him I, I dig quite a bit. Number two, big Hawkman cover, Calabac. Dig it. Uh, apparently, Wonder Woman is taking up umbrage with Easter Island. Uh, of course, Hal Jordan's there, destroying national monuments. Fantastic. Mr. Fate looks like he was roped into this. Walls. Uh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Firestorm. I'm a married man. You <laughs> can't... No, you gotta leave, buddy. Who is that? Flash, Robin, and Batman. Classic. Fighting a big robot dark side. Awesome. Are we back? Nope, it's the end. Superman holding hands. It just That's tender. That's not even violent. That's tender. There was a parent back in the day saying like, oh, comic books are all violent. I'm like, look at these two men finding common ground. Oh, yeah, as, as I was looking through the books on the back, you can see the superpowers line of action figures right there. Who do they have? Yep, there's a Penguin, Luther, Superman, but yeah, you can see those. Take a look. That's cool. I do want to read these. I actually I actually want to read these, so I'm going to set these. This is my to-read pile. It's enormous. Um, <laughs> this is this is what Ricky's reading. Um, that and my, my book book is in that couch. Who cares? This cover. This is usually like a $30 cover. I found a guy on Whatnot selling it for $20. I low bid, like I did one of those offers so that I could get it for even cheaper. So that it would just be 20 with shipping. So I saved a bunch of money. But this, goodness gracious. If that ain't a dirty zerty, I don't know what is. But I love that cover. This one was missing from my Nathan Zerty collection for quite a while. And we have a Jamie Tyndall signed with Certificate of Authenticity, Vampirella cover. The guy was asking, th this lot that we're in right now, the guy was asking for, I think, 30 for this individual issue, but I was buying so many of his other variants, I'm like, come on, work with, work with me here. And he was like, yeah, fine. Um, I wish it didn't come with the signature. I don't like books being signed. Um, I, let me clarify. I don't have anything against people getting books signed for their personal collection, but for me, I don't want books signed in my collection. I just don't like the way they look. I think it mars the cover art. If I met an artist that I loved and I and I have a forever book in my collection because they're they're all forever books. I don't sell my books. And I met someone that I really admired, I'm going to go old school. Sign the inside of the cover. That way I can have that memory, but I'm not I'm not marring the book. This cover this one, this is what originally started me buying the books on his page. This is fantastic. Hanging like a bat do with that beautiful pink sky and the Batman style flurry of bats flying off in the distance. This is just, this is too good to be true. Uh, and it says this is a one in 35 on the back. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how true that is, but this is uh, another uh, Perillo cover. I was actually looking at his website last night and how much it would charge, how much it would cost for him to do an original painting for you. And it's, it's expensive, but I, I bet it would be worth it. Uh, here we go. Uh, Vampirella and Red Sonia. I really love the covers where they're together. They just, they were meant to be together. I know there were different companies and how they got started, but I don't care what road got them to where they can be on the same, in the same books, but I'm here for it. We have a kind of swimsuity beach look. It's a ocean of blood, but remember, Draculon, her home planet, is all water is blood, so it, it would make sense that this is her this is her beach look. Here's another thing. I also love it when when artists give her really curly hair. 
A lot of times Vampirella is given really straight hair. Uh, let's see if the last book was. Yeah, same. Last book even. Super straight hair. But in the next book we'll have straight hair too. But really curly hair. Just it. I like seeing those variances. Like you got to understand. She's been wearing this outfit since 69. The exact same outfit. Very few variances in like the Harris comics run where they, they played around in the 90s because everything got ruined in the 90s. But anytime you can mix something up on her, I, I want to see it done. So play with her hair. Artists, do more with her hair. Give her a mohawk. This cover. Purgatoria and Vampirella in this kind of uh, high school boy sitting on the steps, arms around girlfriend position. I really like this. The the shine on the leather of their their legs, the, the their boots, I should say, is excellent. I almost wish, and it would cover more skin than I think more collectors would like, but I almost wish her wings were wrapped around her, or maybe some artist in the future can do that, that using the wings more. It's another thing you don't see on a lot of Vampy covers. They don't give her the wings. Give her the wings. Vampirella Red Sonia. Kind of sharing an embrace there. Shocked look on her face. This is, this is a fun one. This is the tattoo of every biker. It's only missing the banner that says mom or ham sandwich, whatever they're into these days. I always felt like this image in the front. What's her name? Elvira is kind of the vibes I got. <laughs> That's what it is. Elvira, Starfire, and Vampy on a biker tattoo. Second to last, Vampirella sketch cover. She's kind of messing around with the grave and you, you walked in on her. It says it's a 1 in 15 on the back. I, again, I don't know how accurate that is. And the last, but certainly not least. Check that out. It is, it's a very dark cover. I'm trying to avoid the glare on my screen. It's a very dark cover, but she is so lit up. She just shines. And can, what was I just saying? Give her wings. Couple books later, wings. More wings, please. So those are the books that I bought. However, um, I have a cousin who is the sweetest guy in the world and he collected comics a lot when he was younger. But uh, where those comics are, they're, they're somewhere in his house. His health isn't the best these days. Um, so he, he took a trip to the store to buy me some comics and it, he just sent them to me you know, unprovoked. My birthday is not for another two weeks and it was just so nice of him. Uh, but he sent these along in the mail. This is a, uh, an adventure comics. What is this? 278. I looked this up, uh, in the inside cover, uh, 1960. So 60 year old, 63 year old book. But it's got Supergirl on the cover. He knows I love Supergirl. And there's Mom and Pa Kent looking just old AF. He also sent me a copy of Suicide Squad number one uh, from the New 52. This is fortuitous. I have most of the New 52 run, but Suicide Squad is one that I was saving for the end. And I haven't been collecting for it yet. So he kind of pulled the ripcord on that unknowingly. But here it is. Uh, and then Suicide Squad... Number one from, I believe this is the 80s run. He included that as well, just because I think he wanted to have the old and the new. And that's just that's just kind of the way he works. He's, his name's Dave. Again, sweetest guy in the world. Uh, that he would send me anything like this is fantastic. He spoke at our wedding and said that, uh, you know, a big, big declarative statement in front of the family. Ricky gets my comic books. And so we were talking about it the other day. And he said, you know, I, I, I can send you a photo with a box, but I, I don't know where the box is right now. And then he just sent those. So what a, what a guy. But that's my haul for the week. Uh, I'm not really buying comics right now. This I know after I just did that big unboxing that clearly I am. But I'm, I'm holding off for a little while while I restore the coffers to buy some big books coming up this October. So I'll definitely share those when they come in. I've got more videos in the works, but if you like the content here, if you like hanging out and talking, or you just want to give me some suggestions, I would love the feedback. Leave a comment below, um, subscribe if you're enjoying yourself, and yeah, that's it. I hope you, 
I hope you get everything you deserve. <laughs>